tell us a story. Yes, tell, tell us, us a story. All righty then. I am uh, pretty busy, so I'm going to try and get some actual <laughs> work done at the same time that I do a story time. Uh, the vehicles really don't need warmed up anymore, and I'm not able to get out and uh, do anything outside currently that doesn't take a long period of time. So, I thought I'd come into the store and do my work, and at the same time I'm doing my work, I could possibly tell the story time story. Um, younger, we moved into the swamp, uh, Crystal Lakes, uh, in 72. Previously, we lived in trailer courts out just outside the area, still uh, within a stone's throw of Midway. Before that, since 63. Um, Big hunting and fishing, and as, as, as you know, big hunting and fishing type of family deal all the time. Um, back when we moved to the lakes, we had tree upon tree upon tree and everything because it was the old Pat and Martha's. Uh, the ladies that owned Pat and Martha's used to live there. And uh, it was just lots of trees, lots of vegetation, lots of flowers. So when we moved into there... Uh, before we started adding on to the property with buildings and, and stuff, um, a lot of the trees where we had squirrels and before we moved in there, Dad did a lot of hunting and everything like that. Over the years since we've moved in and the older he gets, um, before they before I le got left, got married and went out and then came back and after I got injured and they built my apartment behind their house, he... Uh, used to do hunting and whatever and fishing and so forth well it's kind of eased off he still does the hunting thing but it's mostly for deer and he hasn't gotten a deer in uh, 15 15 plus years I think it's more for the camaraderie of him going out and being in the woods with uh, my cousin and different people and stuff like that but uh, he's come to the point where he, he's kind of got a little following at home for all the little cr the little critters and everything he's got uh, like uh, rabbits that he feeds. He gets up 4 o'clock in the morning every morning to uh, milk the chickens and feed the cows. And, and yes, I know I said milk the chicken and feed the cows. It's a kind of a running joke in the family. But 4 o'clock every morning, he's up. Uh, and if you're around, you're up too because he's going to get you up. So he has this little following. He gets up at 4 o'clock every morning to go out and feeds the rabbits. He has rabbits that come through the neighborhood that come and he feeds those. He fed the squirrels for years. Uh, so when we first moved in, he had we had squirrels there that were uh, albino squirrels with black dots on the back of their ears. So, so it looked like you couldn't tell when they were looking at you and when you weren't. And I'm sure it was a deterrent. But uh, that's that's the way it was uh, for, for birds and hawks and everything to keep from getting them. Whoop. I gotta go help mom. She needs to carry stuff in. A few moments later. All right, I'm back. Just had to help her carry her bags in and stuff. Anyway, so uh, we moved into there and uh, they put up decorations and they put up things and bird feeders and so forth. Well, we used to have this concrete squirrel. And it was a concrete squirrel and m mom pinned it on the side of the tree. Well, we used to get upset because all of the cats in the neighborhood used to track down and kill the birds, the rabbits, the squirrels, and so forth. Well, we had no idea when we put this squirrel up there that it was going to be some type of entertainment for us. What happens was the cat would come out and see this squirrel on the side of this big maple tree. And it was a huge maple tree. It was probably three foot through. So we they had this squirrel in there, and the cat would come up and stalk this squirrel from across the road, slowly come up, ease up, get to the bottom, and it would run up the tree and clamp down on the squirrel and then jump way up into the air and fall back to the ground and then run off and, and go two, two doors down and just sit there and look up at that squirrel just look up at that squirrel. I mean, I'm not sure what went through the cat's mind when it bit into that concrete squirrel, but it must have thought, this is the toughest squirrel I've ever come across. 
So it was funny, and it didn't happen once. It happened numerous times. Either the cat was really stupid, or it was thinking that, well, maybe today I'm tougher than that squirrel. We had that squirrel up there until finally the, uh, the trees rotted down a few years ago and uh, had problems. We had to cut them down. I don't know where that squirrel is now, but that squirrel has some stories to tell, buddy. I can see that little concrete squirrel showing up at the bar and telling, yeah, them cats thought they were tough, but when they took a bite of me, they thought again. So I'm going to finish off uh, work that I've got to do, and uh, you all have a good day. I'll do my thing. You do your thing. See ya! Story time is over! Damn, that was annoying.